Deathwing probably better than the other heroes. Is Deathwing better on this patch? I didn't look at stats. I don't think Deathwing is that OP, but I think it has to be semi decent with available tribes. Isn't Deathwing a dragon? Technically, but you can play some dragons with no dragons, like Molly. Only Zero, I think, is tied to dragons because her hero power is. I actually like going up and then freezing Gali Cat to win. It's good. It's just like very solid stats, packs a punch. Dimitri. That's like one of the most Russian names ever. I've got some fresh recruits for you. It's actually Greek. Here's your goal. Is it? <laughs> that's a that's the weird thing about names. You see a name and you think it means it, it's a honey percent related to like a country, and then you figure out it's not. Next time you can still level up, by the way, if you don't get offered to minions with death rattles. A great strategy. I want minions with death rattles. Result. When did you start streaming? You mean like today or you mean in my life? Today I started like almost two hours ago. I'm doing an early stream because I'm playing in Grandmasters in a couple of hours. And I wanted to get some uh, hours of stream before I beat some nerds in Constructed. But I don't know, I felt amazing on the previous meta games, and then I still lost in the playoffs and didn't make it to Worlds. Maybe if I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone, I have a better chance. Who knows? Because I put in more work. By the way, something that I thought of recently, there is a chance I don't really like the constructed meta game because everybody's complaining about it on Twitter. Like, when other people are happy about the meta game, I also tend to be happy. When people are shitting on the game, it's hard to be like, yay, the game is great, because then you're gonna be put down if you say a nice opinion on the internet. And I don't care if somebody says that... Um, I don't care if people like go, oh, you shouldn't like the meta game, or you should. I'm, I'm not trying to let people influence my opinion, but I think I get influenced by the general opinion, even if I try to not get influenced. Once Grandmasters is over, I will be playing and studying Battlegrounds offstream as well. Which means I'll be a bit better, I'm not gonna be as good as Dog, for example. Like, even if I would play Battlegrounds 20 hours per day, I don't think I would be the best player in the world. My goal is getting top 10 finish in Battlegrounds. That's my goal. I think rank 1 finish is a bit above my pay grade. That's an insane top range. Only question is, do you put it on this or do you put it on that? I kind of hate Bomb as a reset, so I'm gonna put it on Deflector, I think. Right now I don't even need resets, I need just raw strength. And this board has the raw, the raw strength. Do you think Mercenaries is going to be pay to win in PvP? Yes. The question is, will it be pay to win like constructed, which is more like pay to play? Or will it be pay to win like Great Shadow Legends? We'll see. Because constructed is not really pay to win, it's pay to play. If you don't pay, you have to grind a lot to be able to play, which is fine. But if they make it so that if you don't spend thousands of dollars, you cannot compete, then that kind of sucks. We'll see though. 
Battlegrounds was designed by developers who wanted to make a fun game mode. Mercenaries was designed by businessmen first and devs second. I, I don't know about that. I still think it's made by devs with passion that want a nice game mode. Maybe they get a little bit more pushed into having uh, um, monetization systems, but I don't know how a company like Blizzard works. I'm assuming they have a special role, like it's somebody's job to come up with monetization within the game. But I have no idea how it works, so I don't want to comment on it. Your minions are mighty like a dragon's flame. Systems what a great addition to your team. This is a lot of value, but do we need it? Let's go for the money. What a great addition to your team. Do you see what I see? Yeah, it's a lot of money. Then we can take sixes. It went well for Artifact. I mean, Artifact was heavily monetizing a card game. I don't think they want mercenaries to be a card game. And I don't even think they want the player base of a card game. They make it for mobile gamers, they don't make it for card gamers. I think. I'll buy Deflecto, uh, Deflecto Leaper. Yeah, I missed two attack on this because of my order. I can live with that. You're ahead. Keep it going. I feel like if a card game is great, obviously the price matters, but I don't think the price is everything. Like, Runeterra is the cheapest card game. Is it doing better than Hearthstone? I don't think it is, but I haven't seen their metrics. If price was like the only reason, why why isn't everybody just playing Runeterra? Yes! Team Kids, thank you for the 11 months. Your minions are mighty like a dragon's flame. I want to go to 6. Can I afford to? Deathwing plays really well on 6, I think. Max now? Not good with Max. Not good against Max. Because like, before Artifact was released, people's main argument for why Artifact is gonna be good, it was like, it's made by Valve. Nice work. And I was like, so? Still, the game has to be good. But dude, it's made by Valve, it cannot fail.
I mean, we see the same things with movies, right? If a director makes a movie, people are gonna be like, oh, it's amazing, or it's gonna be amazing. It's not always the case. Some fresh recruits for you. Kangbok is good with Buster, right? Good trade. Here's your goal. Potential triple right there. Don't want it, Bob. Thanks. Thanks, I'm good. You want Joel the Buster, right? Spot is yours. Can you keep it? Makaukin Circle Jerk? Excuse me? Dude, that's a million attack! Three million! Three million attack! That's insane. Three million attack minion. Compounding power, guys! How did he get that? With a stupid uh, two-drop frog. And with Baron and with Golden Macau. And then he started with a frog. Then they multiplied and then they all went on Macau and then Macau triggers on Macau and goes like And easy clapper I'm struggling here with my mechs the deck tracker is like still figuring it out The fight is over for like two minutes deck tracker is like eh? What the fuck happened? I feel bad for the deck tracker developers. The last Balrans update just ruined all their effort. They cannot predict these fights, they're too stupid crazy. I love it. It's a shame you will not be able to spectate him after you lose. What if I don't lose? I'm not sure if I should freeze Mackerel. Fish is good, but... Yeah, okay, it's pretty good. I want to triple the egg and then get rid of get, uh, uh, module it and then uh, buy fish and then get another buster. I will not lose copium. But, 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 I will not lose.
Kind of doesn't feel that amazing. It gives me one boss tag. He's getting one boss tag that busted. Well, maybe. Yeah, maybe it is. The guy with the fishes died. A solid choice. I guess now he's sleeping with the fishes. My shield for Steady hand. I'm pretty sure Basta is still gonna die as one of my first two mechs. That was pretty insane that he got a minion to 3 million. And then still died next fight. Mine? Keep it. Imagine winning as Deathwing. Rip fish. Oh, and now I don't get the Bostic anymore. I actually think we can still win the fight. Our setup is incredibly annoying. Like we have a lot of resets and annoying minions and then more resets and more annoying minions. As long as we deal with the Hydra we should be good. And yeah, he has a bunch of mixed synergy. Again, I'm super happy that his Hydra is delayed. He attacks with every single minion first before attacking with the Hydra. And that's how we're gonna get him. And now BAM kill the Hydra. And we only need to win once. And then Panda is dead. Nice. Petty96, thank you for the 5 months, I appreciate it. Talking about Petty, it would be a pity if we don't win this one. I'm not sure if I want second mackerel. This guy is playing Quillbors and he's the one who killed our uh, friend. Because of him we are not able to see the 1 billion attack Macau again. I think I'm gonna try to cut mackerel for like a second boss there. That's the one adapt I'm going for. We rolled Amalgadons away. I feel like Amalgadon got less powerful. Didn't it? Ah! I think it's winnable. I think he's definitely weaker than the guy with like a million attack on Macau. And... You know what's funny? Generally I say a million as like an over-exaggeration of the situation. This time the guy actually had 3 million attack. So saying 1 million is like underestimating his team comp. Isn't that insane? I need to kill him now, this guy is dangerous. I lost against the 3 million attack Macau and still won the lobby. Ask me anything. Nice hand size, uh, Mr. Rakanishu. But I think you have an issue. No turn to use it. No time to use it. Wait, let me message my editor. This needs to go on YouTube. <laughs> 